Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is the case of Bryson versus McCarroll. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Ms. Bryson, you have dragged the defendant, your ex-boyfriend, Mr. McCarroll, into court today because although you admit to having sex with more than one man, you are here with proof that Mr. McCarroll is the father of your 18-month-old son, Zylan McCarroll. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. McCarroll, you say that because of Ms. Bryson's admission, you have no choice but to believe that another man is Zylan's biological father. True. And after today's DNA results are revealed, you demand that Zylan's name be changed. Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Bryson, what is the nature of your relationship? You're separated? Yes, ma'am. We're currently separated. Are you right. working to get it back on track? Where are you all at in this? We're not working on getting anything back back in track because Mr. McCarroll, he has whorish ways. Wow. And he wants me to be a whore like he is, and I'm just not... I'm not that type of person. Mr. McCarroll, you want her to be a whore like you are? <laughs> no, Your Honor. I have no idea where Miss Bryson gets that from. I... <laughs> Are you just trying to say he cheats on you a lot? Yes. Every but you... time we're together, he cheats. I, I wanted us to get married, okay? And he doesn't want to do that. Yes, I, I tried to structure... Because he wants to be a whore. I tried to structure everything about my life to make it where we would never have to be here in this situation where she would never have to worry about who her baby daddy was or none of that crazy stuff. I was he trying to work and go to school... He don't never take for anything that he does, Your So honor. that we could not be here and have question marks over these kids' heads. Like... Uh, everywhere he goes, he meets someone. And he uh, always yeah, sleeps but... with them. Everywhere it's not he true. goes. It's not true, Your What honor. is true, Mr. McCarry? I could see all this coming, and I tried to uh, deter or uh, avoid her from getting to this How did point. you see all of it coming and what well, is it? I could... This, uh, this situation where uh, we got another beautiful young black woman that don't know who her kid's father is, that steady... Uh, oh, you're a savior now. He's I'm not a he's, savior. He thinks no, he is. I'm he not a savior, is. but that, I could that, have avoided this situation. How could you have avoided that? I could have avoided this by working and going to school and trying to make a better way for and her. Every time and, he he and, and hold on. Why is it you weren't able to do that? Oh, my God. I can't talk to my mother on the phone. I can't read a book without getting put out, cursed out. Or, Your or... Honor, when he did find a job while we was together, I was supposed to bring his lunch in for him. I called him. He didn't answer. And I know him. Anytime he don't answer the phone, Which it's a never... woman involved. I and sure enough, it was. His friend, his best friend still to this day, they cheat together. Oh they do everything God. together, never okay? My, never, they do everything together. Never. He was well, wait a minute. Untrue. I, I want to go back to the part where you said you can't even read a book. Yes, no, ma'am. I was reading... I, I believe it was a, a Rick James' autobiography <laughs> some years ago. <laughs> As you can imagine, that is a very interesting <laughs> book. <laughs> I bet it was. Yeah. She upstairs with the baby. I'm downstairs because you know, I'm trying to read. The baby wants oh, crying and whatnot. That. I heard Hold on. Wrong. Hold on. And Let him finish okay. the story. I'm okay. reading the book. She come downstairs huffing and puffing. I've been downstairs too long. I'm too quiet. I'm, I'm reading the book. What, what you want me to do, man? The reason I came downstairs, I heard him on the phone with a girl that he had currently step, slept with. <laughs> And we got into it about that situation. Man, and how he, do you know that was a girl anytime I, I bring, really slept with? I talked to her. He was telling her she upstairs sleep with the baby. When I get a chance to get out, I'm gonna come over and we gone. Mm-hmm. I don't know where and you he's got like, that. She's, I want to take a lot of tickets. It's always, to it's always I'm stupid, I'm dumb, I don't know nothing. Like he, like he over here talking now, like I'm the bad guy. What was the nature of the relationship? What was going on in the relationship when you got pregnant with Zylan? When I had gotten pregnant, we were separated. He was with another lady. And uh, he was... Every time he comes over, he don't know how to keep his hands to himself. Even if I'm in a relationship, he still does it. Soon as my friend turns his back, he touching on me. And I tell him, you know, don't do that. <laughs> but while I'm separated, I do love him this, with all my heart. Dude, Everything dude. in me loves him. I want all my kids to be his. Okay? I can't tell. So you were with another man. Yes, I was. In a I'm relationship. No, and I And then wasn't. Mr. McCarroll came over and touched you, and then yeah. you that got easy? pregnant. That's the, right? I, I braided... Thank, thank you. No, Thanks, too. No, no. Your Honor, yeah. I braided his hair. He came over. I asked my... The guy that I was in a relationship with, could I do his hair? He said yes. He came over and was flirting on me, touching on me. Every time we speak on the phone, I try to call him and let him talk to the kids. Every time that we speak on every the phone... Every time, really? Every he time. always... Every time. Every he time. always flirts. I never, ever cheated on him when we were together. <laughs> ever. You just cheat on other people with him. 
Yes. Thank you. Basically. Get it right. This, this is where she needs basically. some guidance. So basically, and some you're with... saying he's the cheater. Yes, and he tried to make me look like the bad guy. Okay, I have, in the past, I have cheated on guys with him because, like I said, I love him, but when I got pregnant with him, I was with someone and I broke up with him and I told the other guy why I was breaking up with him because I didn't want to hurt his feelings. And I can see that that really just upsets you. I wanted to have a family with him. I wanted to get married to him. Like I said, I've been with him since I was 18. I love him. Any man I ever talked to know that I love him, okay? I wanted to have a son. I wanted to get married. He didn't want to give it to me. He didn't want to settle down, okay? Yes, I did. And I got it. And obviously, ain't no man gonna be included in it because I haven't tried to even get into a relationship because I know I'm still hung over him. And I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You say you wanted to have a family. <laughs> I understand that desire. A baby's not a consolation prize. It's not, oh, because I didn't get this man, I'll just have this baby and I'll just be all right. That's not how children should be brought into this world. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. In your mind, there is no doubt no around doubt. Zylan's paternity. No you doubt. think that this doubt, he's just making this up? He is. And I also have proof of that, Your Honor. I'd like to see that proof. Jerome. You're handing up a calendar. Yes, ma'am. That's a conception calendar. Okay. Based on that calendar, I could see my son on April the 28th. In blue is the date you were intimate with Mr. McCarroll. Yes, ma'am. Actually, and now I want to know how pink, you know that. You have outlined mm -hmm. the window of conception that you calculated. Yes, ma'am. Don't forget to put the other How did you get these dates? Where, well... Where his dot is? Or his circle of whatever? <laughs> I actually went online... Because when I found out that I was pregnant, I had currently went to the doctor a week before. I was trying to have a son. I hadn't had a child in three years. And I was currently going to the doctor. I took a test at the doctor, and he told me I wasn't pregnant. So he scheduled me for an ultrasound on my ovaries. The next week, I bought one just because, and I was pregnant. And I, I bought four more, and they also came out positive. And during that time frame that I slept with, I slept with Mr. McCarroll, uh, he was with a girl, she, she was going to college or whatever, and he came over while she was at school and slept with me while he told me he don't remember. I mean, I do remember, I'm just saying that's... No, now he remembers. Now he remembers. I just right. said I remember that time frame. So, basically, yes, you took... Day. That's a, what I'm You to took... Sorry. The date uh, uh, Xylem was born, which is January 23rd, yes. and you did a conception calculation. Yes, ma'am. And you came up with this window of conception. Yes, ma'am. Outlined in pink. All right. Mr. McCarroll. Yes, ma'am. Do you remember... Having sex with Miss Bryson on the 28th. No, ma'am. We were having sex around that time, but on the 28th specifically, no, I can no, I can't say that. She might have been with that guy. Then I have no idea. The that truth is, you all were Ooh. separated at that time. You had yes, another yes, girlfriend you were dealing with. Yes, Your Honor. Yes. Okay, Miss mm -hmm. Bryson. When were you intimate with the other man? Well, um, we slept together also on April the 26th. That's the day that I split up with him. All right, yes, so April 26th, other guy. Mm -hmm. But I'm so bad, though. Miss Bryson, that's just two days before yes, you said you slept with Mr. That. McCarroll. I understand that. Yes, ma'am. Why are you not including him as a possible father? Well, I just don't think that he is, because my, my son, he looks like... He looks just like my daughter. And also, I have another six-week-old by him. And they look the same when they were born. And that's why I just don't think the other guy is the father at all. I think the total opposite. I think the new baby and my daughter look exactly alike, but Zylan does not look like me or my Apparently, other Apparently, he don't think the new baby does either because he also... I do think he look like me, but I just want to... I just... I, I do want a DNA test for him, too, just to be sure. Yeah, I know. I see... I'm sorry to make you make that face. You know, he probably I remember... <laughs> I mean, because who keeps having I, I babies know. with people and you don't I know if you're the father, don't know she, who the father? Mm. Your Honor, he well, didn't want to be with me because uh, I, I love him, there. and that's, that's my fault. What is your relationship with Zylan right now? I mean, I've been there for... I cut the umbilical cord. I, he got my name. He in my house right now. That's me and him. She ain't there. I went and got him, talking about I don't never keep him. But I have to do it all by myself. I currently... I, now I have four kids. He give me $30 probably every blue moon. And that ain't having taking care of no kids. Okay? Okay, well... So why do you keep having them? You're 27 it, it, years old. Young and dumb. 
in I love, in love with the wrong person. Kids. Like I said, I've known him for 10 years. Your Honor, when I met her, she yeah. didn't have nothing. I took her... She had never and been... And she still don't have nothing, according to you. I'm so what does that say about that. you? Right. And she got all your babies. Right. Right. Stop over-talking me. Stop over-talking me. Go Stop over-talking me. I want an answer to that. I'm because just a few minutes ago, you said to me, you know, I could have prevented all this. You know, I could have. I could have just done this. It didn't have to be another black, beautiful black woman out Correct. here with baby. This nonsense you over here yep, testifying to. Make it what I want to understand is... You want to try to downgrade her in this courtroom, but she been with you on and off having your children for 10 years and her life has not improved at all. I want an it's explanation. Not my fault. No, no, no. Yes, it is, because I mean, you said okay, you could change it. Let me finish. I mean, let me let you finish. No, I want an right. answer. Okay. Because it's one thing to say I've been with her We've been on and off. I love her. We can't let each other go. It's another thing for you to try to downgrade her after you previously stated you had a system of avoiding I'm trying to I buy things. everything for my kids. All my kids, every one of my kids I always had a crib. They always had a bed. They had everything they needed. So I don't know why he even saying, just because I live in the projects don't mean I don't I, have a job and I don't work to take care of my kids. Yeah. Okay? I, I'm trying to explain it. I take care of all of mine. So let's get back to the paternity now. Okay, th thank you. This courtroom is focused on Xylan... Yes, ma'am. ...and how we can improve his life by ensuring that he knows who he's, his father uh, is. Yeah. So the bottom line is this. All of this doubt centers around this other man you were with. Yes. He's here, and I want to hear from him. Jerome, will you please escort him in the courtroom? Mr. Perkins, thank you for joining us. Yes, ma'am. Do you believe you are Zylan's biological father? No, I do not, Your Honor. Why? Because at the same time she was with me, she was messing around with him. Man, dang. I lost my train of thought just mm -hmm. thinking about the stuff. It makes you upset? Yeah, because I found out that she was messing around on me. Mm -hmm. So... She told me she was 99% sure that he was the father. And it's a possibility that I could be. Did you know she was still sleeping with Mr. McCarroll when she was with you? No. <laughs> when did you find out? When she got pregnant, she told me. I split up with him. It don't make it right. I know that. You split, split up with up Mr. With Perkins. Mm -hmm. And then two days later, you I, slept with yes, Mr. Yes, McCarroll. I did, Your Honor. Yes, I did. And I told him that. I told him I didn't want to hurt him. We were sleeping I didn't want to... That. I didn't want... All no, through he's April. Like, oh, we he's was having sex all through April. That whole... I'm move. telling you the truth. If you knew there were potentially two fathers, because you told him there was a chance he could be, yes. you knew there's only... There's just a two-day difference between when you slept with him and when you slept with Mr. McCarroll. Okay. Right. And I was... Well, hold on. Yeah. Why is it you named the baby... Zylan McCarroll after Mr. McCarroll. Well, I asked Mr. McCarroll because he already knew the situation, same I explained it to him. I didn't want... <sighs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. I didn't want my son to feel like if he had my last name. My other kids have their dad's last name and that's one... You know, I only have one that isn't his. I didn't want my baby to feel like left out, you know. That's why I asked him, would it be okay if I put the baby in his name? And he said, it's fine. Is yes, that correct? He, yes. He got and, my whole name and pretty much. did you say that because you believed the child was yours or because you were willing to take responsibility for the child? I was willing to take responsibility for Did you for sign the, the birth certificate? The hospital where we live, if you're not married, they don't let them sign it. All right. I'm ready for the results. Jerome? <clears throat> we have two results today. The first reads as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Bryson versus McCarroll, when it comes to 18-month-old Xylan McCarroll, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Perkins, you are not the father. In the case of Bryson versus McCarroll, 
when it comes to 18-month-old Xylan McCarroll. It has been determined by this court. Mr. McCarroll, you are not the father. Man, case closed. I ain't got no more to say. Say no more. <laughs> well, obviously, my calendar was wrong. And my ultrasize, I showed both of them my ultrasize. <clears throat> Everything said I got pregnant in April. That's what I was worried about. So Who I obviously got pregnant in May. Is Zylan McCarroll's father? Do you know? Yes, ma'am. I obviously got pregnant in May. I thought I got pregnant in April. I was real early, so I know who it is. I was trying to have a son, and I wasn't thinking. I wasn't thinking. Who were you trying to have a son with? Initially, I wanted one with him, but he wasn't ready. Like I said, I had to beg him. He wasn't ready to settle down. I was promiscuous, okay? I, I, I so was you just, just you some, made the decision you were gonna sleep around with anybody and then you gonna get a, a, a son. Right. I did. It was a dumb decision. This concerns me. You gotta stop this. I, I you, no, don't no, listen. You just chasing him down and chasing him down. This is going to affect the children. I know. I know. I understand. And it's affecting you both. Uh, so that's why we have counseling for you right now. We want you to take advantage of it. And if you need this courtroom again, please reach out. I wish you all the very best of luck. Court is adjourned. Thank you.